In this video, we'll write the chemical formula for N-propanol. We'll also take a look at the structural formula for N-propanol as well. So we look at the name here, we see it ends in OL. And we have this table here of common functional groups in organic chemistry. When something ends in OL, that means we have an alcohol. And we're gonna have a carbon, the rest of the molecule, this carbon here bonded to an OH group. That's what makes this an alcohol. We also know, looking at the name, this part right here should remind us of propane. Propane has three carbons and then the hydrogen atoms. So we have a lot of information. We know we have three carbons, some hydrogen atoms, and it's gonna end in OH. And we know the OH will be on the end because N means normal. This is also called 1-propanol. So let's write the chemical formula for 1-propanol, also called N-propanol. We said there are three carbons, so we'll write C3, some hydrogens, and then the OL on the end, that means we'll have an OH group, that'll be our alcohol. So to figure out the number of hydrogens here, there's two things we could do. We could draw the structure out and know that each carbon will have four things bonded to it, or we can use this formula here. So we take this number here, three, that's the N, C3H2 times three plus one, and then we put OH on the end. So two times three is six plus one, C3H7O8. That's the formula for N-propanol. Note that this would also be the formula for 2-propanol. So sometimes you'll see the formula written like this. Same number of atoms, just arranged a little differently. And we're showing that this OH group here, it's on the end. It's not in the middle. So that's the chemical formula for N-propanol. Let's draw the structural formula. So often chemists will write the structural formula like this here. We have a carbon, 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 and then we have the OH. And then we don't write the hydrogens because we know each carbon is bonded to four things. So we'd have three hydrogens here, two here, three, and we have our OH group. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's a molecular model for that one propanol, N propanol. We look at it, we see our carbons, we have one, two, three carbons, and then the OH on the end. It has this zigzag shape. These carbons are sp3 hybridized, so each one of them has a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And you see that OH group on the end. If we look at the molecular surface, you'll see that the red here, the red, that's a little bit more negative because the electronegativity of the oxygen, and the blue, that's a little more positive. So we can see that this N-propanol, it's gonna be a polar molecule because we have a side that has red and then the blue. Over here, the green, that's more neutral. So that's the chemical and structural formula for N-propanol, a little bit about the polarity here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.